Hey guys, it's your girl Kim. Welcome back and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new to my channel, I am a full-time multi-apper that does Uber Eats and DoorDash coming to you from New Jersey. I really believe that if I can do this, anybody can do this. So if you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button before you leave today. Also, everyone, give this video a big thumbs up and then also don't forget to share my video. Those are the best ways of helping me grow my channel. And then also leave me comments because I love hearing from each and every one of you. So guys, a while back I did a video on my least favorite restaurant. So today I'm gonna give you in my favorite restaurants that I like to go to. Some of them are chain restaurants, some of them are local restaurants, but once again, these are just my opinions and what works in my area, but hopefully maybe we share the same favorite restaurants. So guys, if you're ready, I'm ready. Oh, let's do this. this list isn't in any order whatsoever so I'm just gonna kind of go through my list that I have and we'll kind of go from there so first on my list I actually just pulled into it I know they're in New Jersey there are several of them in New Jersey I just don't know whether they are national or not but Greek Eats which is right behind me one of my favorite places to go to so it is a kind of like a version of Chipotle but Greek style so they have kind of the same setup and you can build your own gyros and your own bowls and it's a really cool place but uh, the reason why I put them on my list is because they are always ready and no matter whether it's Uber Eats or DoorDash, your order is ready whenever you go and it's a quick grab and go restaurant and their food is good. So what's not to like? So while I'm there, I also have another Greek place in my area. This I know is a local spot. It is called the Greek spot and it's known in the Red Bank area for being fantastic Greek cuisine. It's a Greek restaurant, but you can also do takeout as well. But they also always have my order ready no matter when I go, what time of day, weekends, no matter what, they always have my ready, my order ready. So they're another reason why that restaurant. So both Greek places in my area are absolutely fantastic. So McDonald's. We all know I love McDonald's. I know some of you guys said in past videos that you don't like McDonald's. My McDonald's is like on point to the point where their drive through is sometimes quicker than going inside. That's how like on point they are. I just, I can't say enough great things about my McDonald's. I do have another McDonald's probably about like three, four miles away and they're okay and I will still take orders from them but not as good as the one by my house and but they're still pretty two very good McDonald's in my area so McDonald's is definitely on my list okay this is a local I think it's a local New Jersey chain I'm really not sure I know they have a couple of them in New Jersey I just don't think I don't know maybe they are national I don't know but JR's it is a restaurant that basically five food a lot of fried foods so not very heart healthy <laughs> but they do anywhere from chicken wings to burgers to sliders to uh, any kind of like finger food, um, chicken fingers, french fries, yeah, all the not so good stuff, but it's tasty. <laughs> but the reason why I put them on my list is because I have personally formed a personal connection with the store itself to the point where they know me by name, they see my name pop up on any of the orders, they put my order first because they know me by now and they always have my order ready and you know what's not to love about a restaurant that gets to know you and gets to know you personally and I can't say enough great things about JR's as a restaurant so they are definitely on the top of my list okay Jersey Mike's I love Jersey Mike's because they are a simple grab-and-go unless it's like they're super busy and they're backed up with sandwiches 
which has happened on occasion once or twice. There was one time I walked in and they they actually I waited 10 minutes because it was like it was legitimately it was like 15 subs that they were making for this customer. But they felt I felt bad for them because they were making so many subs for this customer, but they felt bad for me and actually ended up giving me a coupon for a free sub because they were taking so long. So what's not to love about great customer service for drivers and also for customers and they're always on the, I always take Jersey Mike's orders because they actually pay pretty well as well. <laughs> so I really, I really like Jersey Mike's. Okay, Bubba Coos. Once again, I think it's a chain restaurant. I don't know whether it's a New Jersey chain restaurant, but they have a couple of them in my area. It is a local burrito place. They do burritos, they do burrito bowls, they do tacos. Um, sort of like a... I hate to say a surfer's version of Chipotle. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. But it's very similar to Chipotle. But to me, they have a little bit more meat options and they're a little less expensive than Chipotle. But they have, during the pandemic, they actually had a table set up that you just literally grab and go. But now that they're open again, they actually have a section that's just shelves. And once again, they created their own area for drivers. They can literally grab the order and get out of there. And what's not to love about a restaurant that always has your order ready. And their food is good too. So if you're ever in the area and you want to go to Baba Coos, their food is really good too. So Boston Market. I love going to Boston Market. First of all, I like Boston Market because it's kind of like the healthier option of fast food chain. But once again, you go in, they have, at least in mine, they have like a little TV screen and they say what orders are up and what orders are complete. So you kind of know when you're walking in what where your order is in the mix but every time I've got in they have always had my order ready and they also keep it like in a hot whatever their hot plates are or their hot zones are so when you grab the order like they're actually giving you warm food which I actually think is a bonus from a customer's perspective so when you put it in your hot bag you know you're getting already a warm meal for your customer but Boston Market is a really easy place to pick up from. Okay, Buffalo Wild Wings. I know a couple of you said it was on your no-go list, but it's on my good list because my, at least my area, whenever I go, the orders are always ready. They keep it in that cute little oven box so you know your customers are getting warm food walking out of there. Usually the people are pretty nice in there as well. So I like Buffalo Wild Wings, at least in my area. They're quick, they're efficient, you're in, you're out, and you're on your way. Okay, so my next one is Playa Bowls, or I also have a Fruita Bowl place. So they're both two different fruit bowl places. So I'm gonna put them all in one category because to me, they're pretty awesome. They're they always go in, you grab it, and you go. They always keep them in the freezer until you get there, so it's not like a soggy mess when it comes out. So I can't say enough great things about them. And if there are any kind of line, they always stop what they're doing and tend to the delivery drivers before they continue on. So that's another plus in my book as well. So I really like both fruit bowl places. They're like a mile apart from each other, and that's why I get confused sometimes which one I'm going to but they deserve a definite mention in my favorite list okay next I don't know whether I know there's a couple in New Jersey but it's called Urban Cold House it's a pizza dash bar place their food is fantastic but whenever you go like your order is always ready they're always super nice you literally just have to walk in the desk is like literally right there you say you're who you're there for the name they go they grab it and you're on your way I think I've only had a problem there maybe once and that was with uber but it was quickly rectified because they didn't ever receive the order but they just looked at my phone and put it in and they really took care of it that way where a lot of restaurants if they don't get the order it's a no-go here they really try to accommodate because it was a customer issue so anyway urban coal house thumbs up 
And then my last one is Firebirds. And I've said this in a past video or so. I love going to Firebirds. Their food is good. They're, once again, you walk in, the hostess is right there. She grabs your order. It's usually on a table right there. It's almost always ready. I think it's been a very rare occasion that I don't go there, that it's not ready. Um, parking, even though it's in a mall, the parking is always easy because they have curbside pickup. So that always is easy when you don't have to leave your car and they actually bring the food to your car as well. And then finally, I put chilies on my list. Uh, my chilies, especially during the pandemic, like they didn't let you get out of your car. They came to your car. Even still, if you park in their pickup area, they always bring your order to the car for you. So you don't even have to go out. So what's not to love about that? There has been a couple instances that I was a little delayed and they were delayed getting the orders out. But for the most part, as long as you kind of stay away from like busy holiday times there, it's usually pretty smooth sailing. And once again, what's not to love about curbside pickup. And guys, those are my favorite restaurants. I got one more restaurant and this restaurant I put on my least favorite list, but I'm also gonna put it on my favorite list too, and I'm gonna tell you why. So it is Five Guys. So I put it on my least favorite list because I think it's annoying that you have to go and you have to wait for your friends. That's why I put it on my least favorite list. I'm gonna say however, I'm gonna put it on my favorite list as well because I always take orders from Five Guys because A, they're nice, B, even though they have to do the fries when you get there, they're usually really quick and efficient and all the other food is done besides the fries. So even though you might wait like that five minutes, it's still kind of an in and out place. At least mine keeps it going and they keep the orders coming. So you're never waiting longer than five or 10 minutes. So, and it usually pays really well. That's another thing I think at least in my opinion, I get some really good orders out of Five Guys. So anyway, and also sometimes I call ahead because they know me by now. I kind of call ahead to Five Guys and say, hey, I'm a, you know, Uber Eats DoorDash driver. It's Kim. You know, I'm on my way. Are you backed up and whatever? And like they try to really get everything ready for me before I get there. So that's another plus in my book. So anyway, I thought I would do an honorable mention to Five Guys. Okay, you guys, that is it for today. Remember, if you're new to my channel, subscribe. Everybody give this video a big thumbs up. And then also, I want to hear from everybody. Let me know what your own personal favorite restaurants are. Are they the same as mine? Do you have different ones? Leave it down in the comments because I would love to hear what each and every one of your favorite restaurants are. And guys, that is it for today. If you are driving, please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Remember, kindness is always free. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.